this is Laura here welcome back to the course highlighting for different face shapes is what we're going to be tackling today um, and so in this video let's just start with what we learned on our face shapes and if you don't know those you can go back in the videos to talk about or listen to me talk about face shapes so a round face to highlight a round face let's get started with that shape right so with highlighting um, the round face, the best strategy is to deepen the temples at the sides of the face and always remember to illuminate the central points. So you're trying to like chisel out the face to make it seem a little bit more angular and then you're going to highlight, highlight the areas in the center of the face and that will be able to manipulate the shape of the face just a little bit. You can um, highlight along the top here, that's fi totally fine, but you want to chisel down with your contour and all that, the sides. So that combo will help you manipulate it quite a bit actually. All right, to apply highlight to rectangle and square faces after the contour, then you're gonna highlight the bridge of your nose and under your brow bone here, at the top of the cheekbone for the most flattering overall look. So those are three key areas because you're bringing light to the center and you're softening the sides. Um, you can put it here, but just keep in mind that you're doing a lot of contour along the edges of your face and you want to work in conjunction with that. You can put a tiny bit on the chin as well if you choose to and the tip of the nose. Those are all good areas to highlight for a square shape and a rectangular shape. All right, so a diamond face has a larger forehead in relation to the jaw, so you don't want to apply a lot of highlighter up here. And what you're going to do is focus a little bit more into the apples of the cheeks and on the upper cheekbone area for a flattering shape. Um, your brow bone, be careful not to spread it onto the forehead as we try to balance and minimize the appearance and not make it look larger. So be mindful of that. Um, you can like tip here and here, it's totally fine, but just you're mainly fo you're mainly focused on not accentuating the forehead with that diamond shape going into the oval face just like we talked about in the contouring of the oval face this face does not technically need correcting but in this you can further enhance and further maximize the beauty of it so simply highlight the forehead area parts of the nose if you want to uh, put a little bit down the middle you can if you're strategic about it touching the tip the apples of the cheeks, the top of the cheekbone, under the brow bone. You might want to do a little bit of a touch here and a little touch there if you want to. Um, but those are all friendly areas to uh, work with for highlighting the oval shape. So we're going to move on to our last shape. For the heart shaped face, you're going to apply your highlight to the top of your forehead. You're going to do the bridge of your nose. So here, the bridge of the nose, the sides of your jawline here with the fluffy brush. So you can also put some onto the apples of your cheeks or the top of your cheekbones. So the heart shaped face goes in here. So putting a little bit here will bring that area out more. So that will be a good fixer for um, that area being more concave and bringing uh, it into a sharper shape. So keep that in mind and let's move on to your assignment. All right, so your assignment, should you choose to accept it, is to apply highlighter. Try doing your highlighter with matte version and try putting shimmer into it. Try all the textures you can if you've got oils, if you've got serums, if you've got sticks, if you've got powders, um, both matte and shimmer, try them on. And you also wanna look at tones of highlighter to make sure that it's going to fit your face but I want you to concentrate on applying the highlighter for your face shape so look in the mirror remember what your face shape is and try applying it in the areas that we're talking about in this video and uh, if you can and you have a couple other people handy to practice you can practice on a couple other people in your vicinity so that you get as much knowledge on this area as possible so we'll see you guys in the next video